While walking the streets of Tel Aviv or Jerusalem, you probably won't encounter a stray dog. Yet, the growing population of stray dogs in Israel stands at more than 35,000. About 60% of them are in the Negev area, south of Israel. Adar and Arik are volunteers in the Arad for Animals Foundation. They deal with the expanding stray dog phenomenon on a daily basis. Here in the south, it's a very common sight. There are a lot of dogs who live in the streets. If you drive in the streets of Arad, you'll see packs of dogs. They are reproducing at a very high rate. The females can litter two times a year, each time producing 9 to 12 puppies. Most of the puppies won't survive. They will die in agony or they will find their way to an organization, while the mothers stay in nature and keep on reproducing. These stray dogs can all be found in a very small area, which leads to a terrible end for many of them. Today, due to the growing numbers, they don't live comfortably in nature. They are still wild dogs, but they are susceptible to accidents, illnesses, abuse, hunger. They are exposed to extreme heat and cold. The growth in this population doesn't affect just the quality of the dog's life, but also other animals living in the area. It contributes to the extinction of many other wild small animals that used to be common in this area, because these dogs have to eat. It changes the entire ecological system. It's a complete anomaly of the situation. Once the small animals are killed for food, other species also have trouble surviving. Wolves, foxes, and jackals, for example, hunt the same small animals as dogs. Until recently, the Veterinary Institute has been unsuccessful in dealing with this problem. Some of these stray dogs were born into the situation, but other dogs were abandoned by their owners. The Bedouin who live in the Negev also play a major role in the growing population of the wild dogs in the south of Israel. Among the Bedouins, there's no garbage collection, and since they have no other choice, the Bedouin residents throw away their garbage into the wadis. First of all, it's damaging on the ecological aspect and to the groundwater. Also, they are still butchering their animals privately in their homes. They dispose of the carcasses in nature, they don't bury them. While the wild dogs are feeding from this garbage and dead animals, it's prolonging their lives and also contributing to the population growth. Moreover, most of the Bedouin community doesn't neuter their dogs as part of their religious beliefs, and there's not enough awareness and education on the matter. But the Israeli government has approved a new bill to deal with the problem. It's a pilot project. What we do is neuter, vaccinate, return for dogs. The idea is to take an area in Israel, gather these stray dogs, neuter and vaccinate, and return them to the same area they live in today. There, they will not reproduce since they are neutered. They are less likely to have rabies since they already have the vaccine. They're there anyway, so the idea is to minimize. Legislator Yasmin Sox Friedman is one of the two lawmakers who pushed for this project, but not everyone supports it. In the committees, we discovered there is a lot of resistance from veterinarians. They do not want us to return the dogs to nature. I also don't want that. But as of now, there are 25,000 wild dogs just in the Negev area. If this problem was taken care of 10 years ago, but they didn't do a thing. And today, we are in overpopulation. The Veterinary Institute itself is equivocal about the project, only saying that, quote, the minister was instructed to carry out the pilot on the subject, following which further decisions will be made. The care for these dogs is in its first steps, but it will take a major leap to deal with this problem in the future.